Hi folks, I just returned from Air Venture in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, where I met Greg Rudebush, the first owner of an Aerolite EV-103. Join me for Greg's fascinating review of this amazing electric-powered ultralight aircraft. I love the pre-flight check on the Aerolite 103 because you can see every bolt, nut, screw, and rivet on the darn thing, so you can check it very easily. You can touch every single one and make sure that the airplane is ready to fly every time you get into it visually. No panels to take loose or anything. Dennis Carley and I are great partners, and we partnered completely on this electric aircraft. You'll notice there's no real pre-takeoff checklist for this electric airplane. And the reason is that uh, there's no mag check to do, there's no power to check, it's either on or it's off. And so I just check my controls to make sure the controls are moving in the right direction and they're still connected, I have continuity, and then we're ready to roll. So the electric airplane has the other advantage of never needing a spark plug change. You don't ever have to buy gas, ever. You've spent a little more money for the batteries, but it's like prepaying your fuel for the rest of your life. And you never have to do an overhaul or put a new motor on the darn thing. It's just some magnets rolling around on a couple of bearings and spinning a prop behind it. It's, it's beautiful. So pretty quick here, I'm going to get the all green light from the runway control, checking for traffic both sides, all clear. As soon as I come down the center line of the runway, you'll see full power being added. You'll be a little bit of a vibration. There. Here we're at full power. Take off roll. We'll lift off for a few inches here and gain some speed, and then we'll climb out very quickly. The reason for climbing so quickly is that I want to clear all of the objects on the ground and put as much distance between me and them as I possibly can. I always do that. This airplane will actually climb faster than what I just showed you. You could double that climb rate easily, but they told us not to do any excessive maneuvers here at EAA, so I did a nice smooth climb out to a 300 foot altitude. You'll see I'm flying directly down the road under me so I can avoid the airplanes on the left, any people or property of value. I have to avoid all that. And I'm at still, full, still at full power, you can tell that because there's a little bit of vibration in the picture, which you can't get rid of because she's pushing us so hard. This electric motor has so much torque that when I add the power to take off, it's a real push in the back and a kick in the pants. It's a lot of fun. I made that turn now and heading away again, avoiding anything on the ground, property of value that I may damage. So doing so keeps everybody safe. And I've pulled back the power. When you see me move my left hand off the yoke, I'm pulling back the power. So this aircraft has so much power, it'll push us along at more than 70 miles an hour at full power. It's not very efficient that way, so I'll pull it back here. It's a more enjoyable ride. Less vibration, as you can see in the picture right now. My head is moving in every direction. I'm looking, of course, for traffic. I'm looking for a place on the ground that I may have to land it because if they shut down the runway because somebody else has an issue, I have to land someplace else. And I'm also looking at the glass cockpit. That tablet computer there is the entire monitor for all of the engine operation, all of the components that are going on. So I'm looking down at that to see how many volts I have. It tells me how much flight time I've got, how many RPMs and ampers am I running. And it controls all of the aspects of the motor to the extent that it's very, very safe. You're going to see me pull back power here again now. I'm getting ready to turn my final. I'm coming around the clump of trees you'll see on the right side. That's my marker to line up with the center line of the runway. And I'm going to pull back the power four or five times here. That's unusual because in a gas-powered airplane, I pull it back exactly once. But this electric motor has so much power and so much thrust, I had to pull it back five times to lose enough airspeed to land at the right spot on the runway. And you'll see me get just beyond the runway inline marker. We should touch down now. And I'll roll out on center line and then come to the right just a little bit because if anything goes wrong, I want to avoid the crowd and the property on the left side. The right side, nothing to hurt over there. 
so keep complete control of the flight from start to finish. Glance again at the glass cockpit, see what I have left, know if I can go around again or two or three or four more times. But we have the parameters set up with the software such that we limit the power discharge from the batteries so that the batteries can't discharge so fast that they're damaged, catch fire, have an explosion, God forbid. And the same with the motor. We can't overheat the motor. And we have tested, tested, and tested these parameters to make absolutely sure that we're safe with this aircraft and its propulsion system. I feel it's a better propulsion system, safer than any of the gas systems I've flown, simply because I don't have to worry about a crankshaft breaking or a bearing going out or a problem in a carburetor or spark plugs bad or magnetos. None of that. We have a spinning prop on a shaft retained by magnets on two bearings, and that's it, Wayne. So just a heck of a lot of fun and, and a great partnership with Dennis to complete this project and make it available to anybody that wants to get one. Well, Wayne, thanks for, thanks for inviting me over here. This is the Aerolite 103 EV, and then my company is Aeroelectric, but this is the first production Aerolite electric powered aircraft. So today, I got to fly it this morning, July 28, 2021 at EAA, which is a childhood dream. So, Wayne, this is awesome on many levels. First of all, because I get to fly at EAA. Secondly, because I'm in an airplane that I love to fly. I've owned about a dozen gas-powered Aerolites in the past, been flying them for years, a couple hundred hours in them. And in my opinion, they're the most fun and best built, best flying ultralight that you can put yourself into. So Dennis Carley, who owns the factory, called me a few years ago, five years ago, and he said, you know, Greg, should we try and buy, build an electric airplane? I said, sure. He said, well, get your checkbook out. So that's all it took. It's like everything else, a little bit of money behind it. But we found a gentleman, Gabe DeBalt, who helped us develop the motor and the controller, the software that we use to control everything, all the electric circuits, and then the batteries custom built for this application. And so we set it up in such a way that we know it's very, very safe. And after we did that, we went ahead and built the airplane and we built the uh, motor and the assembly on a test stand. We tested that back in February this year in California Gabe and I worked on that together. It tested successfully, so we said, box it up, ship it to Florida where the factory is, and then Dennis mounted it on the airplane. A month later in March, I went down to Florida and test flew this exact airplane, the first copy of an electric Aerolite 103. It worked perfectly. Unbelievable, and it's just like, it's right out of James Bond. You're sitting there with no sound or anything, and suddenly you advance the throttle, the motor goes, well, it's a little delay, it goes while it powers up and it prop spins, but it has a lot of torque to start out with, so it's a real push in the back when you advance the throttle to go full power down the runway. Comes off the runway in 130, 140 feet, off you go, and it flies fast. You can fly up to over 70 miles an hour in it. I pull it back to 45 or 50 because it's much more efficient that way. But any way you fly this airplane, it's a thrill on as many levels as you want to set for yourself. So come take a look at it. Go on the internet. You'll see it. I'm sure, Wayne, you'll put this up on YouTube for thousands of people to see if they're interested in this technology. But we're here first at EAA Oshkosh. And uh, for heaven's sake, thrill of a lifetime for me after 65 years on this earth. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't, and as always, I appreciate your comments. So until next time, take care.